Hey guys, today we have a sick kiddo. Are you sick? Yeah. What do you feel like? A bump in my throat right here. Does it hurt when you swallow? Yeah. What else hurts? The inside of my throat. Inside of your throat? Mm -hmm. What about this thing? Is your nose, is it runny? Yeah. So he has a little cold. It came on yesterday. Super, super quick. Like, super quick, huh? Anyway, so we're going, or I'm going, to show you some of the things I do for sick kids in our house, and we'll show you today. And um, by chance, we're actually going to the doctor. He was supposed to have, we're meeting a new doctor here in Washington um, because we haven't found a pediatrician. So we're gonna go see this um, new pediatrician, and he was supposed to have a well check today. <laughs> And I'm gonna get shots right around. Yeah, you might get a shot. I'm not sure if the One records shot. have transferred over yet. But um, anyways, Everywhere. so we are going to the doctor today, um, just by coincidence, and maybe she can just check him out. Is that a lollipop? I typically don't take them to the doctor when they're sick unless it's like extreme, you know, very high fever or an obvious earache. Please stop. Or something. You know, like that. He is complaining that his throat hurts really bad, so I do want her to check him for strep. I don't know how he would have gotten that. But we seriously just got over being sick, so I can't believe can round two me? is coming. Oh, that is a shot, huh? So first things first, we're going to get dressed, right? Yes? Should we get dressed? Oh, my goodness. He's practicing for shots today. We have got the humidifier going in here. We're, I'm going to move it downstairs because he's going to chill on the couch. Um, but we have that going. We had that going last night. So let's go get you dressed, okay? We've got the humidifier set up. And now I'm going to give him a couple of things here. All right, so this is something I typically give all of us when we are sick or coming down with something. It's called Sambucus, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, I don't know. But it's elderberry um, syrup, and it's just a spray bottle, super convenient. I love this when I found it. Um, yeah, it was like a lifesaver because you can just take it with you. You don't have to have a little cup to dilute it or to pour it into a cup or anything like that. So I'm gonna give him two sprays of this, and then I'm going to rub some of this VIX on him. This is the only VIX I have, and I have no eucalyptus oil left, none. So, and I'm almost out of this stuff as well. So I need to, um, I need to get restocked for sickness. Do you like the elderberry syrup spray? Yeah, you do. Okay. Can you hold this right here? So. we go and you can also put um, the VIX on like children's feet but I'm not gonna do that right now because he doesn't have socks on and I really just do that when they go to bed so you gonna sit here and watch TV for a little bit yes yes I want my we're gonna go to homeschool <laughs> I want my he sits here and relaxes. all right we are on break for school culture is requesting a banana Sorry, that's really gross looking, a banana. Um, he has been eating a ton of fruit since he's not been feeling well. He probably ate like seven cuties yesterday and we only have two left. I am getting an imperfect produce box today, which we haven't ordered in a while. And I should be getting some cuties in there. And then Jeremy got a huge box of oranges yesterday because they were all out of cuties at Costco. They've had them like nonstop. I should have gotten two bags the last time we were there because we eat them like they're candy. And that's good because I'd rather them be eating oranges than candy. So anyways, I'm gonna give him a banana and see um, how he likes that. You got tissues? Uh-huh. You want a banana? Yeah. How's your throat? Not good. Okay. <laughs> okay, for their snacks, they're having apples, oranges. I'm gonna give them some crackers probably. But I always put in vitamins. I'm gonna make sure I give make sure I give Coulter his. These are just like the ones from Trader Joe's, little gummies, the vitamin C. And then they also get these daily probiotic gummies. So we'll give them one of those. We are at the doctor and Coulter gets to wear this fancy gown. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cutie.
All right, I'm also going to make a little tea bag with some oats, because this will just make, this is just like really, makes your skin really soft. And then some of my tea, bath tea blend, which I'll link the video below where I made this, but it just has rose, um, with roses, lavender, calendula, and comfrey, I think. So I'll just put a little bit of that in one of these bags. There we go, I just hang it on the bath. and let water run over it. How is that called? Not good. Not good. Yeah. Good. Does it feel good? Just want to see what it's Yeah. I guess I'm putting my water. Oh, you're putting your ear in the water? You're not putting your mouth in the water, are you? No. Okay, good. Yeah. Oh. Is it nice and warm? Maybe you shouldn't put your ear in the water. Don't do that. Hey, Coulter, when we go back to Arizona on Christmas, are you going to go all the way underwater? Uh, probably. Probably I would have earplugs in my ears. I don't put earplugs in my ears. Are you doing some before bed yoga? <laughs> is that how, mom, is that how mama does it, Coulter? No, this is my house. That's your way of putting it. <laughs> oh my goodness. It didn't hurt. Ouch! It hurts? It doesn't hurt. Or it doesn't oh. hurt. Can you do downward dog for me? <laughs> Coulter. Put your booty in the air. Remember how you do? Put your head down. No, that's not right. Oh my goodness. Put your head off the ground. Okay, well, close enough. Head off the ground, legs straight. Point down. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> He's blinking. Okay, guys, pardon the half wet hair here. I'm in the process of drying my hair, but I need to put Coulter down for bed. So for nighttime, I actually found, I was digging through my essential oils, trying to look for something for him tonight, and I found a bottle of eucalyptus. So yay, I'm gonna get the diffuser going and the humidifier in here. Um, and then I'm gonna put some Vicks on his chest. He just got out of the bath. He's nice and, well, he was actually really wild. He was, the boys were doing some yoga and then he got super wild. And then for his bed, I always prop up his pillow so that, um, you know, he can breathe a little bit better. But yeah, it's kind of hard. Like I know people typically just put something under the mattress, but he already has a pillow in here with other pillows. He likes to be propped up anyway. So um, I just have him extra propped up with another blanket like underneath of it. So anyways, that is our nighttime routine. I'm not gonna give him any medicine tonight. He doesn't have a fever. The doctor said it was probably viral, but it was um, a little too early to tell since it's only been a day. And he doesn't seem to be getting like worse. He's not really coughing yet. He's just stuffy. And he hasn't complained about his throat at all today. So hopefully it's just like a short-lived thing and he'll be better. He also had several oranges. Here, come here. How are you feeling? Are you feeling a little bit better? Yeah. The bath always makes you feel better, huh? Yeah, and he's gone. So anyways, those are kind of the things I do when our boys are sick. I hope that this was helpful to somebody out there and we'll see you next time. Bye.